who I am, what is my identity. Now time for NewsX exclusive. A Bangladeshi blogger has spoken out against the rise of religious extremism in Bangladesh. He sought asylum in India. Sanyo Rahman has been attacked back home in Bangladesh after he wrote articles and blogs against communalism and the riotous activities by activists of the Jamaat-e-Islami in Bangladesh. This is just one of the cases where fundamentalists in that country have tried to throttle the voices crying for justice in that country. Rahman has thanked uh, Sushma Swaraj, the Minister for External Affairs, for her support and asked for security for Bangladesh. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. It's really simple. When I born, I born as a human. And the second identity, which I didn't get by born, but by my family, it was that I am a Muslim because I born in a Muslim family and I born in Saudi Arabia. But the interesting thing is, I'm not a Muslim. I'm an ex-Muslim, which I'm proud of. Because from my point of view, Islam is not a religion. It's just a doctrine of Arabian imperialism. The doctrine which was created by Muhammad. Muhammad, the self-claimed prophet. Yes, again I'm saying, the Islam is a doctrine of Arabian imperialism. And the book of this imperialism is Quran. Islam is a religion of peace. It's the greatest lie in this world. It's a statement full of lie. The word Islam, it doesn't mean that peace. Islam means submission. Submission to Allah. So why this Arabian imperialism doctrine followers, I mean Muslims, are saying that Islam is religion of peace? It's a false marketing, which is starting with a lie. Because at the beginning, if they are saying that it's a doctrine, no one will follow that. We will reject it at the beginning. To propagate their doctrine, they are telling lie. Because it's allowed in Islam that you can tell lie to propagate Islam, to establish Islam, to spread Islam. Means you are allowed to tell lie to spread this Arabian imperialism doctrine. Now you can ask, does Islam permit Muslim to lie? Yes. For Muslim, there are several forms of lying to non-believers that are permitted in Quran and Hadiths under certain circumstances. The best not being taqiyya. These circumstances are typically those that advance the cause of Islam. In some cases, by gaining the trust of non-believers in order to draw out them and defeat them. Because of these type of videos, people accuse me that I am anti-Islam. Yes, I am anti-Islam because Islam is anti-me. Islam is against me. That's why I am against Islam. How Islam is against me? For example, singing, painting is my hobby. But according to Islam, singing is haram. That's meant in Islam, singing is forbidden. Painting is forbidden. So it's meant Islam is against my hobby. So Islam is against me. That's why I am against Islam. Not only that, when I was Muslim, I love to make friends who are non-believers. But in Islam, I can't make friends who are non-believers. That means who don't believe in Allah. Islam, Arabian imperialism doctrine. What they preach? Death to apostate. Death to blasphemer. Death to adulterers. Death to homosexuals. Death, death, mutilation and death. And it's all written on Quran and they preach it on mosque. They are putting this doctrine to every Muslim who are going to the mosque. That's why I always say that Muslims should not have any accommodation in civil society. If you follow the news, every day there is lots of non-believers I mean, who are not Muslims. They are getting killed by the Muslims. ISIS, Hizbut Tahri, Hargat Al-Jihad, Boko Haram, Al-Qaeda. These are all Muslim terrorist group. They are all Muslim. All of them are the follower of Arabian imperialism doctrine. These are the Muslims who are slaughtering non-believers by shouting Nara Takbir Allah Akbar. But after that also, how shameless these Muslims are that who are saying Islam is the religion of peace. This is the greatest lie, the fake statement and the greatest funny joke in the history. Islam is the religion of peace.